What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be upgrading my 2.0 FSI with the 1.8 T oil pump. Uh, I have tried looking for videos on how to do this swap or install and I have not find not one video that shows how to do the process step by step and all the requirements that you're gonna need. Um, so that's the reason why I'm making this video today. I'm gonna show you guys how to install the pump. Uh, there's a couple things that will have to be done before it's not a straight swap type of deal situation, but luckily I already have everything figured out. And yes. So here we got the stock 2.0 oil pump assembly. As you can see, mine is completely destroyed. I blew my engine not too long ago, so now I'm upgrading with the 1.8T. And this is all you're gonna need pretty much. It's gonna be the 1.8T oil pump chain, sprocket. This is actually the 2.0. I already had the 1.8T installed on mine, so I'm gonna show you guys in a few minutes. Um, this is the chain tensioner and this is the belly pan um, this is pretty much all you're gonna need to do or actually all the parts you're gonna require for this swap and here it is the uh, 1.8 T sprocket already installed um, to remove that is not too hard I have this harbor freight tool here pretty much I had to grind off the edges to be able to get behind the sprocket. As you can see right there, good tool to have. Um, also, to be able to install the pump, you're gonna have to make a helicoil right there for this hole. I bought that from AutoZone. They sell you this kit. You will need a M8 1.25. And also you're gonna need a different bolt for there. Um, another thing to keep in mind is once you set this pump on there, um, this hole that actually doesn't really align perfect. So I'm gonna show you here, I have another 1.8 T oil pump. As you can see, this hole is not as large as that hole. So what I had to do was run a bigger drill bit enough to be able to clear and be able to put a bolt on there. So this is pretty much how it looks. Uh, this little piece here also needs to be drilled a bit, not much. I was using a larger bolt, so I had to drill that a bit, a bit more there. Show you guys, this is the bolt I have. Screws right up. And now we got two 10 millimeter bolts. That's pretty much it. Um, that's the pump installed with the valley. I will be installing the chain and the tensioner in a few minutes. I wanted to show you guys about all this stuff right here. So here is everything pretty much already on. Um, I got the pump on there, the bolts, everything's torqued down to spec. That's the tensioner. And that's how pretty much it will look on your engine. Um, pretty much is ready to drop the oil pan and keep assembling the engine from there. Also, another thing I forgot to mention earlier was that um, it is possible to run the stock oil filter housing, but you will have a increase on oil pressure and you might have some issues with that. Um, oil light might be flicking on and off and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put a picture of the uh, sandwich plate um, that I'm gonna be using for there to be able to run the 1.8T oil filter housing. So I'll put that up in a second. But yeah, this is pretty much it. It's not too bad. What you gotta drill is this hole and have a little um, customization there. 
Other than that, it's not a big deal. So that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. I hope um, this video was helpful. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. That way you guys get updated on the Project Ghost. And thank you guys so much for watching.